In this video, we will learn how we can integrate our website with New9. And as I said earlier, New9 is a dropshipping product management tool where we can get the dropshipping product and we can import those dropshipping product into our website and New9 going to be checking all the stocks management and other things. So integrating New9 with GetShop Today built website that GetShop made it easy. It's just a matter of one click. On the top here, you can see the icon. There is a three different icon. First one called Post Magic. Second one is New9. So we need to click on New9 button. If I click in it, automatically it is going to be now integrated. I can see that this account has been created and already it is integrated with your website. So now you have two dashboard first one here you can see that this is your website dashboard where you can manage your website itself and then second one is your new nine dashboard where you can actually manage your product so when you are adding product from new nine you can add in two different way here you can see in the left hand side add product if you click in it the add product then you can see all the supplier that where you can actually add the product from and also if you come in the left hand side here it says product data if you click on it then you can see here there are option called ebay dropshipping amazon dropshipping and nspd so we will focus today ebay dropshipping because Amazon dropshipping, I believe, is more complex and they are need to know more. In the future, I will create other video which will cover this matter. But right now, today, I'm going to focus on only eBay dropshipping, this tab, that how this thing work. So if I click on eBay dropshipping, then you will be able to see here many different product. And this product, you can see here are already three different type of category one is a price less than 20 pound price 21 pound to 80 pound and another tab is more than 80 pound so here also one thing is noticeable that you can see each of the tab only five different product the reason is if you are focusing on ebay dropshipping as an example then per day your listing should be within a limit if you go over the limit, it can cause some problem for your eBay account. So New9 already giving a guide that you should not list per day more than 5 items or 10 items. And another one important thing we should bear in mind that when you are starting your eBay dropshipping business or your dropshipping business, you may consider to focus on cheaper item rather than expensive item because when your business is in a beginning stage your business do not have much credibility that people trust or market trust so to gain the trust if you start selling some small item then when people buying one 10 20 pound item they might not bother much of your review or other reputation so therefore it is very good that first you go with under 20 pound product as you can see here is already some product so now the question how then we can add the product so to adding the product is in the right hand side you can see there is one little plus icon if you click on that icon and if you click on move to gt to ebay if you click on it then it's giving me a pop-up that select store that means this is the store where you are sending the product which is correct so i just click on select now you can see there is one circle is rounding it means the system is now checking that if the product coming from amazon then this particular item is right now is in the stock or not that matter it's checking so wait a little bit this can be sometime be time consuming so wait a little bit now in a minute the product will be added to your system now you can see the message came that product created successfully now click on ok then you see that particular product is gone from this list so let me add another item i click on again in the plus sign then i click on move to gt to ebay and then i click on select now again this product is preparing and checking all the stock 
now again it says the product created successfully click on ok now this product gone as well so now let's go back to our website dashboard area and then i go to e-commerce management then go to product now you can see this both product is listed from new nine to our website and here you can see that your buying price is nine pound 99 pence and then your selling price is if you sell it to your website it would be 10.99 if you sell it to ebay then it will be 12.89 this all the calculation the software itself has done so now let's if we click on the product view in the right hand side this button i click on product view then you can see that all the images and everything already added from the supplier website to your website also all the description and everything came from the supplier website to your website now we learn so far that how we can list a product from new nine to your website only those product new nine research team did the research and gave it to you as earlier i said that you can add product using new nine to your website two different way one is you can get the product under product data that is our new nine research team are doing the research and feeding the data to your system and second option is that you can add your own product by using this particular function which is called add product so now let's see how we can add product from any of these suppliers so i'm gonna add some product from amazon so i click on amazon now of course it will open the amazon website now i'm gonna go to bestseller and then any category product now i can add so i'm gonna add some product from let's say beauty category so when you are adding any product from amazon you need to bear in mind one thing that the item is not under video and also some item new nine will not accept that so for that reason i'm gonna go and then i find any item i want to sell so let's we see this item navia soft and then once you open that item we need to find out one very important information which is here you can see that product dispatch and sold by Amazon. If you see that there is a, any other supplier name, which is okay, but this product must be fulfilled by Amazon. If there is a selling by some other company and fulfilling by other company, then new nine not going to accept this particular item. The, this is the condition number one you need to keep in mind. And then secondly, how do you know that this item actually you can do dropship or not? To knowing that there are many different type of tool and software out there that you can check that video matter. But today I will show you the manual process rather than using any expensive software. So first of all, what I will do, I copy this product title. It can be complete title or you can copy a part of this title. I just copy it. Then I'm going to go to eBay. Now I will search this particular product on eBay using that title. And then if I see there are several listings are in eBay, exactly same images, same title, but the price is higher. So it means you need to understand that this is the product people are doing dropshipping. So now if I go back to Amazon, you see here if this product it would be this product would be selling on £4.59 pence only, but in eBay it is minimum 646, some people selling 685, etc. etc. Then what we need to do, we need to click on that link and then we go in there. And if we see this particular item is selling, here you can see this item sold 27 times with the £8.28. pence. So it means you can see here clearly about 2-3 pound profit. Not only that, this product is selling very well. So it means this is a good product to sell. So I'm gonna go back to Amazon. I copy the URL. Then I go back to New9 and then I'm gonna paste the link in here and then I click on import product 
Now you see this product is importing from Amazon to your new nine system and also it is going to be adding in your website. So here you can see it says product created successfully. Just click on OK. Now you see all the description and everything came from Amazon to your website. Uh, also it shows the pricing and everything. If you want, you can actually make the percentage higher or lower by using these two uh, icon here you can see. Also you can see here the description. If you want, you can actually do a little bit of better uh, editing of the description because as you can see here is a bit messy not really great but you can do this but if you don't it's absolutely fine and here you can see the shipping price when you are doing the Amazon to eBay drop shipping of course you're gonna take advantage of Amazon Prime so here you can just say zero because Prime is completely free shipping so I say shipping cost is zero now you just click on update now what will happen? The product will be created successfully. Now if you go to my listing and then all listing, now we can see this particular item added to your new nine system as well as to your website. Now let's see, go back to your website and then go e-commerce management and then go to product. So you can see this particular item is now in your website. And if you say product view, then you can see the product description and everything came from Amazon to your website. So this is how you can add the product from new nine to your website. And in the next video, we will learn that how we can manipulate the price. Like as an example, here you can see it is a five pound one pence is a buying price and your selling price would be five pound 61 pence then in the in your website when you are selling then how you can actually change the price how you can do the pricing on your own so anyway thank you for watching this video and let's go for the next one thank you